Congratulations, always lovely to see you. And I have to say, I mean, how wonderful, you know, you get to work on Dolphin Tale, the first one, and it's such a life-changing experience and a wonderful message. But then to have this fall into your lap, how great was that? I think you've captured it well. I mean, it was just auspicious and lucky and, I mean, just, I think one of the kind of examples of the generosity of grace. When I read the first script, I had no idea it was a true story. I sort of threw it against the wall. Um, scandalized by what I thought were manipulative Hollywood writers who were trying to, you know, extort money based on emotional sentimentality. And then I saw, you may visit Winter at seawinter.com. And I was like, oh my gosh. So to have the pleasure of coming here twice is just a really big gift. And to reunite with almost every, pretty much yes. everybody. What kind of, you know, to have that comfort zone, it's like old, well, I said old home week, but it's like old four month week, you know? Mm -hmm. But to, you know, to, to like, you know, even even the bond that you established with Nathan as your son, tell me about, you know, he grew up to be, they both grew up to be such mm, great kids. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's a testament to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium and, you know, how difficult is it to schedule a movie with Morgan Freeman's schedule? Or to get kids out of school and manage child labor laws, all of which are robust and appropriate, but get us all together. And I mean, Harry is like the busiest guy in the world with his amazing teenagers and his singing and his um, totally hot wife and, you know, television thing he does. And yet, these dolphins, they like command our presence and also a tribute to Charles Martin Smith and the beautiful script he wrote. What because we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't come together like based on the dolphins, ah, too bad the script isn't any good, but you know, we're here for the fish. By the way, we know it's a joke, they're not fish, they're mammals, don't write letters. Um, Charles is a wonderful director. Have you seen Snow Walker? My favorite all-time film ever. No, if, if, if no, like talk top, about that movie, I start to cry. Top five with Casablanca. Yeah. No, this is a great film yeah. and he is, he is subtle, he is nuanced, he is powerful, he is smart, he is profound, and he's funny. And he was an actor, so I think that yeah. he understands what you guys need. How great is his scene oh. when he plays the FDA? I mean, he's like the best actor in the movie. I was happy to see him on screen, because yeah. it's been a while, um, yeah. And now that Winter is a huge movie star, you know, yeah, she's good. Oh, she's, to is she a total she's diva? totally a movie star. Yeah, she uh, does fart sounds through her blowhole when she wants attention. Yeah, which is actually better than most actors' behavior when they want attention. So she is a movie star with an upgrade. <laughs> because actors can do fart sounds too, though, Ashley, you know. Most of them are real. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you, does this change your life in any way? I mean, you being such an animal lover and everything, you know, when you come off the set twice, how did it change you as a person in any way? I think it does change my life because to have the privilege of, you know, lying on my belly for hours on end and watching Winter and having her interact with me and then create a friendship with this baby dolphin who has this really pretty pink patch on her throat is unique, you know, and I, I, under, I know scientifically their brains are as complex as ours. I know from watching, you know, films and reading things that they have this, they express a range of what seems to be emotion, but to have the experience in person with them, as well as to, you know, pick up a boyfriend who's a sea otter, it's a pretty life-changing experience. Yeah. You, we always love seeing you on the big screen and the small screen. Like, what is it now when you get a script that just jazzes you, you know, and says, I'm going to take that project? <sighs> If I knew my agent wouldn't have to read things, she would just know automatically. I don't know. I mean, a lot of it has to do with life. I mean, I have a very full and rich life. I'm, I'm you know, this movie is coming out. The Identical is coming out. Yeah. Uh, Big Stone Gap will be coming out at some point. Uh, Insurgent will be coming out at some point. So I seem contradictorily busy for someone on sabbatical. But the whole point is it has to fit with my life and whatever my consciousness at that time happens to be. We'll keep them coming because we Thank love seeing you. you and I love talking to you. Thank and you so much. And I am much. coming to Toronto for your Women's Foundation. Excellent. Well, we In might October. hook up then. Yes. That would be good. That would be really good. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Um, yeah, no, I just started a new um, radio show on Sirius XM. So oh, good for you. So that would be amazing to talk to you for that. I love your guy who's on Canadian Broadcast.